Hi guys, come with me. Missing memes about Hodor? How about listening to Amelia Clark making up her Valerian? Or Kit Harrington gagging before his makeout scenes? Hi, I'm Dylan, and these hilarious outtakes are about to make you burst into laughter. Welcome to the wondrous behind-the-scenes world of Game of Thrones. In this corner, you see cast members religiously rehearsing their lines to perfection before the scene. Oh wait, no, that's not what's happening on set. He's hat, I have line? Line? Line. It's a funny line, sorry. Reality check, spot Daenerys' loyal squad goofing around in between takes. Hey, Mikael, put this in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> ow, ow! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we use stunt doubles, Jacob. Each episode is an hour-long emotional roller coaster with heart-wrenching losses and unthinkable plot twists that challenge your intellectual capacity. But if you were able to watch the filming process and take a shot each time somebody forgets their line, you'd be absolutely hammered within minutes. Do I say something? Is it me? What do I say? What? Oh, we've got to there already. We oh, f Sorry. Arya Stark hasn't been seen since her father was killed. What do you think happened to her? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least Nikolai's being honest about it. Watching this makes me wonder, are they recalling their lines or covertly trying to resurrect the red woman from the dead? When we're doing... <laughs> <laughs> now, Danny, you try. I'm not good back. Have you ever lied on your resume, added some extra languages or computer skills? Guilty? That awkward moment when the casting directors found out that Amelia Clark is not a professional horse rider. Like the first thing I ever did, and they stuck me on a horse. Oh, oh my god, I fell off a fucking horse. <laughs> Keep watching to see one of the cast members almost setting the whole set on fire. With all the interesting connections between family members developing in the series, let's not point at the Lannisters, the union between these two was a massive plot twist. Just fancy your brother loads. <laughs> He's really, really sexy. Ever wondered what it's like to portray a guy falling in love with his auntie? The footage that made it into the final cut is actually not the best we could have seen. Reality check. It still wasn't quite spectacular. Ooh. Oh. The actors themselves had the hardest time accepting their new link, and honestly, we don't blame them. And for us, as actors, it's just weird. It's gonna, I mean, I think kind of uh, 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 might be the reaction. I like looking at it and going, oh god, I'm sorry, let's, let's go again. Moments like this show me how persuasive the GOT cast's acting is. True chameleons of their craft. What definitely helps the actors ease into their roles are the immaculately made stunning clothes they get to wear. Those pieces are to die for. Never mind the number of shots production had to take to make them seem practical. It almost seemed like he knew where I wanted to go. Not quite a fucking... <laughs> Poor Kit Harrington. His character Jon Snow lost all of his class with that one trip. At this point, I feel like CGI-ing the whole wardrobe would be less of a pain in the ass. Come on, Kit, at least you got to act wearing luxurious capes, and Danny was lucky enough to have a personal wig carrier. Unlike poor Maisie Williams, who rocked her not-so-flattering muddy rags for several seasons. Not all of the actors appreciated their wardrobe. I'll tell you what I won't miss. Walking around with a half a fucking beard three quarters of the year. On the other hand, wardrobe malfunctions were the least of all the possible things that could go wrong. The award for the clumsiest cast member on set goes to Pedro Pascal, aka Oberyn Martell, who didn't build a good relationship with a flame torch prop. But now that I am a matching, Protect Pedro at all costs! Let's be honest, Amelia Clark, Kit Harrington, and Nathalie Emanuel were the lucky ones who were never ambushed by fans with ill intentions. No hate, just pure appreciation. But for some actors, the show did more harm than good. Conleth Hill, or as we know him, Lord Varys, was literally harassed by some crazy lady who wanted to check, um, let's put it mildly, the authenticity of his character. Good thing the actor did his best to laugh it off. <laughs> I once had a, a woman run at me with her hand at my crotch level. <laughs> but that was a great party. Uh, <laughs> and she, and I, I went, what are you doing? And she went, I just wanted to check there was something there. 
Did she think that because Sophie Turner dyed her hair for the role, Conleth, um, went full on method as well? Moving on to awkward moments on set, sliding graciously on stairs while delivering a speech is a toughie. The most important thing is to pretend like nothing happened and complete the catwalk, which I guess never works out. He needs to learn how to swing a sword, how to. <laughs> <laughs> the GOT filming process is intense as hell. We rarely see a glimpse of anyone's smile. In reality, though, the set crew is one of a kind. Imagine spending months filming scenes of epic brutality, portraying someone getting murdered in cold blood, and losing the people closest to you. Seems like you'd want to boost the vibe with a mid scene rave. No, just, just chilling with the harmony, mate. That was really nice. That was good. I the Back to our favorite goofballs. I bet you've never seen this side of Grey Worm before. To pick a red fit. If the game is on, give me a call, boo. Then the love is true. Give my heart to you. Not gonna lie, it would be surprising if after filming eight seasons of the internationally loved show, the cast didn't become a tight family. Everyone involved is, is like a, a family, and it's a family that amazingly still laughs and gets on with each other. Assholes, no people, divas, there's been no nothing, not even a suggestion. But don't be fooled, prank wars on cast members are never off the table. Rule number one, never fall asleep on set. <laughs> The distinctive feature of Game of Thrones is that the cast has the best chemistry on set and off screen as well. Including a Monday morning exchange of serenades. God, so romantic. Imagine waking up early in the morning in your trailer in the middle of the Icelandic mountains or traveling to work to the breathtaking cliffs of Northern Ireland. What you see in the series is absolutely stunning landscapes, while the actors are struggling to catch a breath in what literally sounds like a tornado. This is the bag girls of the Game of Thrones. Wig snatched. Now, comment below which blooper moments made you laugh the most. Did we miss any? Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome!